All right, guys, how's it going? <laughs> I do apologise for hitting the live stream button rather than record. So if you sat and watched my desktop for 10 minutes, ah, kind of embarrassing. <laughs> so let's just take a look at some of the new Blender features for 2.92 slash 2.91. Now, there's some really nice features to be honest and there's some very basic workflow features and we'll just quickly kick this off by the wireframe opacity. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, if you come to the viewport settings or the viewport overlay, enable wireframe, you can see here we have the wireframe on. We can now control the opacity of this, which, yeah, that's a nice new feature. Kind of helps clean up the UI a little bit and sometimes maybe you just want to have the wireframe opacity down just a little bit, nice and easy. So another new feature, for example, is let's take a look at annotations and let's say you're just kind of drawing roughly something like this. And what you can do is you can actually hide the annotations in the viewport overlay. But the next time you actually go to use the annotation, it'll automatically bring it back. Now, it's not going to change the world, but it's a nice improvement, to be honest. Now, one of the other new features is let me just quickly hide these annotations. And let me add in another object. So we'll just add in a UV sphere, for example, here. What we can now do is we can now toggle selectable options and filter these in the outliner. Yeah, so what do I mean by this? So let's enable the toggles and let's enable selection mode. In fact, we'll just enable all of them here. You can see here this makes it selectable or non-selectable. So disable selection, it gets classed as. So I'm going to disable the selection for the light and the sphere. And what I can do is I can actually come to the filter options and you can see here all and I can enable selectable and it'll filter everything that is now selectable, which is great because it means you can then grab it quickly. So that's one new feature that does have a lot of potential. I'm glad that they're actually doing a lot of work in the outline on it, kind of makes sense. And obviously remember you can colour collections now. Now another new feature that everybody's going on about is the geometry nodes. Now in order to use the geometry nodes, what we need to do here is we need to go to edit, go to preferences, in the interface, enable developer extras, you'll see the experimental tab pop up and we can enable it here, new geometry nodes. So it's pretty new to be honest and it's not fully fledged, there's a lot of work to be done. But if we actually go to the modifier tab, we can add in an empty and you can see here the geometry node group. So I can actually change the timeline to geometry node editor, I can assign a new node, you can see here node group 01, let's zoom in a little bit. And we have a bunch of nodes that we can play around with, so let's go to a mesh and let's do something like a subdivision. And you can see here, I can then control the subdivision of the object. Now this is just me scratching the surface to be honest. There's a lot of things that can be done with it. So there was a good example of an interactive table. You can obviously have your input and output nodes and it gives you the options here. And basically you can control the geometry nodes inside of the modifier stack. So it was pretty cool to be honest. So another new feature that's been implemented is being able to import an image sequence in Grease Pencil and then that'll export out a Grease Pencil sequence and it'll turn it into a mesh. Pretty nice. I'm not a big user of the Grease Pencil. There's much more competent artists than me that can use it. Now in terms of cycles in Blender 2.92, volume rendering is now significantly more memory efficient and that's a good thing. That's positive. Now to call this a fully fledged video, that's a bit of a lie to be honest. There's a lot of work getting done behind the scenes. Remember, please check out the developer meeting notes if you want to kind of keep up to date with this sort of stuff. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You never know, you might catch me going live by mistake. Oh my god. Take care.